What's up guys? Uh, Jonathan, I don't want to see a glare within the video, so I'm just going to take off my glasses. Wearing my Dragon Ball Z shirt. It's actually Christmas today. This is a uh, Christmas gift from my girlfriend. And I'm, if you're watching this, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope you got to bless others with, you know, Christmas gifts, and that you also are just around family, and that you guys, you know, just uh, share love with each other. I feel like that's the most important thing. But, in today's video, I haven't recorded in a while, but what I want to talk about is the PS5. Let me show you guys. It's the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no joke. So, I wanted to share my thoughts, and that's what this video is about, about my day one experience with the PlayStation 5, and what I like, what I've seen. Trust me, there's, there's not much that I do not like, but, but what just my experience was, so. Um, I pretty much just unboxed it this morning um, as a Christmas gift and from there I was just you know you know what I'm saying it's Christmas morning you know we gotta we gotta get through it and I feel like the best thing or best experience is of course it's like like that initial uh, power up and just seeing you know the whole new UI the PlayStation 5 has compared to the PlayStation 4 um, but if you've had a PlayStation 4 then you know that you know pretty much the UI I mean it's like I don't know how to even explain it. It's, it's pretty different from the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation. Well, yeah, we're not even gonna go back that far because. But rambling enough, I had the opportunity to play three games. So the three games that I played were Spider-Man Miles Morales. That was the launch title for the PlayStation 5, the launch edition. I also played Demon Souls. That was a fan favorite that I used to play on the PlayStation 3 when it released, what, 2009. And I got it in 2011, and it was probably one of the more creepier um, type games because I was, what, in middle school? I really didn't like scary games, but um, it was a blast because that was the first type of challenging game, uh, like from software um, that they made. Um, and then what was the, la oh, the last game? I'll get into the last game in a second. So let's just focus on those two for right now. So my experience with PlayStation 5's launch, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Black Spider-Man, Black Swagger music is banging. Like, And what I think I like the most is that the PlayStation 5 allows you to up the frame rate. And be, once you up that frame rate, I'm talking, it is buttery smooth. I know it gives you the option to have the better fidelity or better performance in terms of like frame rate. And I would pick the frame rate every single time because I feel like you just you you see more detail when you have more frames um, in within the scene, whether it's fighting or the cutscene or anything. But the fidelity mode does have um, better ray tracing. Um, but you probably heard within videos and reviews. You know, I'm pretty late on this, but it does have the ray tracing where you can see like reflections of puddles, reflections of the buildings if you're on a building. Um, but I feel like nothing beats the, um, the FPS. Uh, besides that, the gameplay is pretty much unchanged. Um, a little bit uh it's it's different morales morales has his own style as spider-man um but it kind of feels like a spider-man if you play the playstation 4 one a spider-man reskin and they just move like how he swings and pretty much like combat which is, is really cool um i'll show a little bit of gameplay to kind of like um you be in the background while i talk but so far i've only played about i would say about an hour of it um so literally these are just initial thoughts and i thought it was pretty freaking cool like it's very immersive and you feel like I don't know like I don't think it, it dropped the frame once and the PlayStation didn't even like I never heard the fans so that was like freaking awesome Demon Souls I mentioned I've played before on PlayStation 3 and because it has not been changed at all from the PlayStation 3 version well it's been changed some minor tweaks um, mostly graphics uh, frame rate performance uh, definitely resolution you've seen the trailer look for you, you don't need to hear from me but it, it plays exactly the same and it feels so good like the way that one the controller and i'll get into that in a second how the controller feels because that'll go kind of into the last game which is actually probably my favorite experience that I've, I've had so far with the playstation 5 but for demon souls the dragons the enemies the fire the magic uh, the weapons everything feels so so refreshing it's not like blocky i feel like the playstation 3 um, had limited animations in terms of um, how certain weapons would change depending on which one you had. Um, so I used like the rapier because I started as a magic build, build 
and now I'm using the scimitar and it's really cool to see the differences between like the animation style and the style of combat and things like that what I will say is the magic feels super cheap in this freaking game um, which is cool um, I feel like that's kind of how it was in the PlayStation 3 version so they definitely mimic that uh, correctly um, I'm gonna play more and, and uh, if you guys want to see gameplay I probably won't do like a commentary but I'll probably record all the gameplay that I have for Demon Souls just to just to have something um, that I could share and if you guys want any tips and tricks <laughs> I'm your guy um, but I mean it was a blast like it feels unchanged and it's just like refreshing to it feels like I'm hopping back in something that I've already been there before but I haven't experienced yet like if that makes sense and that's pretty much all I could say about it it was a great experience um, and yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to more and I'll let you guys know like my final reviews if that's something that you guys want to see leave a comment down below Moving on to my last game that I played in my favorite Astros Playroom you probably heard uh, YouTubers talk about this in terms of which game that showcased PlayStation 5's ability um, To really provide an immersive experience. So when you pick up the controller as soon as you load up it has you move the controller around in different motion ranges as you pull the adaptive triggers and you really get a sense of like wow this this controller is way different than anything that um, is out there right now for either xbox or previous playstations and that's another thing the controller is weird uh, when you first if you, if you play playstation 3 playstation 4 the controller feels much more similar to an xbox in terms of like a blockier upper and then like a slimmer uh i guess palm grip uh, I don't know what, that, what to call it, but that's kind of like cool about it in, in a sense. It's different. It definitely feels next-gen um, But back to Astro's Playroom It's just beautiful if you ever played a Mario game spiral game or any platformer you absolutely love this game This game has what the beach mode and I, I haven't gone to all the, 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 the places yet I'm trying to get there, but you know I've had to clean and things like that, but it has an SSD custom, you know, map where, you know, you collect pretty much artifacts that are going to provide like a wallpaper for like the PlayStation experience and you get to collect them all, which is, you know, it's kind of fun. It's like, it comes free with the PlayStation 5, so why not, right? And then also you can pick up like collectibles that are old PlayStation products. So there's like the PSP, the PSP mic. Um, I personally have only found like the DualShock 3 6 axis controller. If you Remember six axis on the DualShock. Um, it's really cool to remember like where PlayStation or Sony has come um, And then other things like the PlayStation 3i, PlayStation 2i. You can find all of these things and I feel like All the things that they kind of I don't even know to call, call the bot all the things that the bot interacts with you feel on the controller So if he's walking on sand, I'm feeling like every single little footstep as he's walking on the sand if I'm hitting someone I feel every single hit if the wind is blowing you feel the controller vibrate like as if like the wind is you know resistant to you and then another cool thing is the adaptive triggers going back to that again so there's a spring portion of gameplay and what you can do is literally pull the you know the adaptive triggers and then aim where you want them to spring and as you're pulling you literally feel the you know the trigger resisting you and that's like the literally mind-blowing thing um and that's i, I mean i, I want to play it more but i really just want to make this video to give like my day one experience with this bad boy you know again you know what i'm saying all the custom you know ssd for the high speed io that's gonna make games load like that and that's another thing do games load fast yes they load fast do they load like insanely fast compared to playstation and every playstation 4 and everything previous yes um going in between games i haven't really tried as much because um, i don't have too many games and i have the discs so literally have to pop out the disc and put it in um i'm an old school guy if you guys are old school and you like the disc drop a like below and leave a comment <laughs> um but yeah i mean that's that's pretty much my initial experience with it um I hope to try out more games like uh, old PlayStation 4 games. I don't think I've tried any of them. The only one that I've downloaded so far was Resident Evil Biohazard, and that's because my girlfriend wants to watch me play scary games. If you guys want to watch me play scary games, 
let me know. I will get something out there and that's scary and you guys can watch me freaking shake because I tend to shake when I'm, you know, I'm freaked out. You know, I'm bugging. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much my experience so far. I, I love it. Like it's, if you have the chance to get your hand on a PlayStation, I would say, um, or if you haven't got a chance, I would say, don't give up hope. Um, there's definitely a couple WalMarts that you have them, but they will not tell you. Um, and just keep asking around. I feel like it's the best way to kind of uh, go about it. Um, uh, tune into the next one. All right, bye.